Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I am the Spiffing Brit and today we're trying something new. We're trying to see if Chief Spiff of Oxford can go about and actually take out the world as the incredible, just like, legend that he is when it comes to close combat evidently. I mean, he's a dwarven, left-handed duelist who's also a little bit lustful and a cheeky little bit deceitful. But also, the most important thing is he's an aggressive leader and a brilliant strategist, which rounds him off to a 16 and 11, but actually gets even better, because with DLC we're going for the war focus, which means, um, yeah, our personal combat skill, it's going up to 63. Uh, Chief Spiff of the House British of Oxford, we're going to see how we can do down here. Oh, what's this? The mad dog of Wuristan has somehow summoned up the outrage. Is he my, he's my vassal, I think this is good? I will accept his challenge. Let's see what challenge he can offer up. Bearing in mind he has zero combat skill, or he can fully... Oh my gosh, so basically, um, I win and I gain 200 prestige, he loses 200. That is the easiest 200 prestige I've ever picked up. Also, he's now permanently wounded for the rest of the game. <laughs> That'll teach you for trying to attack me. I'm thinking we join the, warrior, uh, the Wolf of Warriors. It's basically a society where you just duel people. So I think it's a good idea. Jewel for honor, here we go. So I'm going to be fighting against this guy here. Oh, brilliant. This is great. So the onlookers are cheering for me. I swung my bare hands with increasing enthusiasm. When it's over, he's on the ground, face red with embarrassment. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So I win the jewel, and uh, he gets severely injured. <laughs> and my jewel experience increases. Yay. Oh, God, he is... <laughs> he's... <laughs> He's not going to do well. Right, okay, we're going to switch you up for the uh, the Chiefess of Oxford. She also hates me, but alas... Why, why is everyone hating the attraction to a dwarf? Why do women hate me? <laughs> going to have to pick this guy because he won't have hatred of dwarves. One way... Okay, so I have to have a sparring match with this bloke over here. The, the husband of the Chiefess of Carrick. Uh... Okay. <laughs> So this random bloke, I feel sorry for him, he's just a misguided warrior, um, he's not even that good, he's Craven, and I have to go and fight him. So uh, let's just duel him right now, do it. Next few days, okay. <laughs> the duel, I immediately succeed and get more prestige, and uh, he gets severely injured. I feel my character is somewhat overpowered. <laughs> My, my combat skill is up, uh, out the roof, I'm at 70! <laughs> this physically couldn't lose any fights even if I wanted to. I've been at peace for too long. Okay, yes, my people, we need a bit of war. We've had we've had happiness for too long, so it's time to declare war on Alfred of Ox, uh, Oxford. We're going to have a consolidation war. Basically, because we're on Shattered World, we can do this whenever we like. So I've just declared a war, and I'm going to raise up my army, and... Naturally, I'm leading the army. Oh, like, we're, we're not even taking any losses here. My general is just having an absolute field day at the moment. During the battle, it cornered Gamal. Rest in peace, another one bites the dust. Ten prestige. What a lovely guy Gamal was. I mean, he didn't even have a backstory. He was generally just a side character, and he's dead now. <laughs> He's trying to genuinely duel me again. Right, I accept his challenge. You've got a scar. From the literally the last time. <laughs> My axe will carve you a new smile. I gain the trait scarred, but scarred is cool. But he he dies. <laughs> he's, he's dead. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Now it's just gone to this random guy. He's actually a bit better, and he's um he wants a seat on the council, he doesn't hate me for being a dwarf, and he's ambitious. Oh, he seems like a great choice. He's gonna have a lovely time on my council. Congratulations, we have an heir. It's a daughter, so this is a tad bit of a disappointment. So this is gonna be hope, because we hope that they aren't going to end up inheriting the kingdom, because whilst daughters are great in this game, they do face some huge major setbacks, in that everyone hates them. Oh my gosh, they also have a hair lip. And they're also a dwarf! 
Uh, so this is another holding now under my control and I can build it up and gain more troops from it and that's basically what I'm planning to do. If we do this we lose some gold but the prosperity of my, uh, of my capital is going to increase. Now prosperity is great because it means it just becomes better. Everyone's going to be summoned to the bolt, all these people who hate me, but it's okay because guess what? I'm, I'm a brilliant duelist. Oh my, human sacrifice? What? What What was I... What? I didn't realize this was a human sacrifice event. Can I, can I expel the Jews and borrow money from them yet? No, I can't. I'm not a king. What a shame. Oh, this is quite nice though. We, uh, we get sacrificed to the gods. Um, I don't personally, but we get a nice little modifier. Morale of armies, prestige and piety for like a year. Not bad. And hopefully prosperity has increased in our glorious lands and our vassals are now actually willing to give us more money because we're so good at being king. He apparently claims he's twice as strong as I am. That's, he's shy, paranoid. He is brave though, but he has got only eight personal combat skill. I have 65, so you're on. He just likes me and he, he will enjoy me for the next five years. Or I could just kill another person in the Warrior Lodge. I think that's just what I'm gonna do. It is said that your virility is legendary amongst dwarves, but I'm a dwarf, so insulting him for being a dwarf doesn't really seem like a good idea. He's not really lustful. The game wants me to draw this person here. Um, she is 65. She's good. She's... <laughs> She's a little bit too good if you ask me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to hit decline on that one. She looks physically insane. And she's almost as good as I am, and I am literally insane. I've got one kill. We're gonna see how much we can get. Well, I've got a prisoner. What can I do with this person? Sacrifice what? <laughs> I could sacrifice this to Leof War. Um, but that seems like a bit of a mad thing to do. They're also just a child, so um, I can't even ransom them. This is a, uh, it's a bit crazy. I don't really know what to what to do with that character. I'll just keep him in the prison. Why not? Who knows what'll happen? Because it is going to be great. Look at that: two martial, one diplomacy, and one health. That has instantly made me gonna. I'm gonna live forever. This character will never. We just lost a battle. How did we lose that? Sorry. How? What is what is their leader like? Are you? Oh, I see. 35 martial. 96 combat skill. Okay. This random... He's a siege leader, so he's great. Um, and I can sacrifice him to Odin. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so I get good fortune and uh, plus five combat skill. And we're going to do the duel. And naturally, yep, I win the duel. Duel experience increases. Where's my dual experience at? Six. Okay, so it's plus six now. This is going well. This is going very well. What? <laughs> it's <laughs> budding friendship. I just broke your legs. You're going to die at like age 40. <laughs> Why do you want to be my friend? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was your second dual ever and you're just like, yeah, that, was, that went great. I can't wait to do more of these. Ooh. I've captured the enemy commander on the field of battle. He's gonna make a brilliant sacrifice to Odin. So many, so many sacrifices. Was my personal combat? 99! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do it. We're gonna hit 100 combat skill. He's physically too good. I could probably jaw the owner of the society. He's only got 93. I could win this. <laughs> Sorry, what? I inherited the barony of Tottenham. Um, okay, and if I go to societies, loot province, so I go to here, declare war, and uh, so they're, they're going to become tributes and I get to loot their land, so I think that's what we'll do, I'm going to extort some tribute, and the call to arms against the chiefess of, okay, so basically uh, my tribute tree in Chester needs help, so I have to help. Well, there we go. I've accepted your call to arms and I'm besieging it. But I'm also looting your lands at the same time, if that if that makes sense, Mr. Chester. <laughs> I mean, basically. Oh, and there we go. I've also looted the province at the same time and I've gained money from it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> There's so many layers to this. So many layers. This is better than any onion I've ever seen. So I'm a fearsome Viking raider. Um, I mean, I'm from England, but why not? This seems great. All Germanic people are going to love me. My marshal once again goes through the roof. Have I got enough? 96 personal combat experience. I'm doing great. And I've now become a veteran. There we go. 101 personal combat experience. Wow. Ransom another prisoner for 26 gold. And another one for 26 gold. These... We've just got so many prisoners. Like, we just pick up entire family members on these uh, crusades. This seems great. He's a one-legged renowned physician. Seems fine to me. You're hired. Congratulations. I'm being told to raid Quimper or whatever it is. How many men do you have over here? 338. It's time to raise the fleet. <laughs> Good stuff. 56 prestige and 55 gold. This has been one successful raiding trip. 10 out of 10. Would recommend raiding. Ooh, my seer has discovered that someone is an apostle. He doesn't like me too much, and I couldn't burn him. So I think I'll do that. I'll just burn a random mayor somewhere. Why not? <laughs> We've captured the enemy commander. What are we going to do? Sacrifice him to Odin? <laughs> 109 combat ability. That's 11 kills. Oh, we've got a daughter now. Anyway, I've captured a random courtier, another person sacrificed Odin. These uh, these battles and sieges are literally just me rolling around, <laughs> stealing stuff. So many people. Oh my god, I feel like I've just captured, uh, I've just captured like half of the uh, French, French nation just from all these raids. So many family members. I think this is just how we're going to make our money. We're just going to be a human trafficker effectively. I win the duel and I severely injure him. I win the duel, and I absolutely murder him. I think I'll go with a severely injured, actually. Right, I think it's time we uh, also take out Northampton, so I'm going to just declare war and uh, consolidate into Northampton. Um, and I can just duel the commander. Sure, why not? He's got minus two combat skill. I win the duel and severely injure him, or I just murder him. Uh, everything is just in war, so it's fine. Why not? That's another one to the list. Feel the power of the wolf flowing through my veins. I snarl at the enemy commander, visibly startling. Him surrender, he shouts. I am chief. Okay, so he's the chief of this. He's the chief of a piece of land, basically. And uh, I can kill him and gain prestige or gain kind. That's just another one to the... Just just the list of people I've murdered. Why not? Um, we're at 14 kills now. Ooh. And we've, we've managed to find the mayor of Hartlepool, who's going to make a sacrifice to Odin. <laughs> oh my god. I leave the altar with my clothes still dripping of the blood of my last victim. Rest in peace, mayor of Hartlepool. <laughs> After having officiated the sacrifice, um, I lose. I might lose kind, but I will definitely gain uh, hemophilic. Performed a notable amount of human sacrifices, game piety, and everyone likes me a bit more. Why not? <laughs> Yet another sacrifice to Odin. This one's a sinner, so that's not too bad. Oh, another one. Sacrifice to Odin. Oh, another one. Sacrifice to Odin. Yes. My son becomes a skilled tactician. This pleases me greatly. Important decisions. Organize the blood games. What? Perform mass sacrifice. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're having a blood tournament. And now it's time to organize the blood games. Let the preparations begin. Right, let the blood start flowing. More blood for the gods. And he survived the blood tournament. <laughs> Champion of the gods. Oh. All possible rank up in society. Yep. I'm going to become a hero. Table is already full, veteran. Are you saying you want to fight me for the spot? Um. Yes. You're. You are terrible. You are legitimately terrible. A jewel. Ah. Oh. Dodge is one of the attacks. I will show no mercy, and I can murder him, or I can just win and severely injure him. I'll do that. And I've become a hero. 
Ladies and gentlemen, bow down to me. I am a hero of mass murder, sacrifices, and just general madness. Ah, perfection. What, some random person has become an intricate web weaver? Oh, is this the person in my prison? Oh, I see. Can I ransom you? No. You know what? Let's just release you. <sighs> just get rid of you for good. Well, the Jewish faith is apparently triumphant. Oh, I've gained someone. That's another sacrifice. I've gained someone. That's another sacrifice. I've gained someone. That's another sacrifice. <gasps> I've gained the King of Galloway. That's another sacrifice. <laughs> I could have kept him and ransomed him for an incredible amount of money. Alternatively, I could just sacrifice him. <laughs> We're up to 25 kills, with the best one being an entire king. <laughs> there we go, I've just gained Somerset. Oh, I've just won, and actually this is under my control. So this is another county under my control. Good stuff. Gain, stressed, depressed, and drop. Okay, now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna become celibate. We're going to become celibate, why not? We're going to be, uh... <laughs> you know, I think we've had enough kids. That's fine. Why not? Oh my god. Hold a great bolt or found a new kingdom. <gasps> new kingdom founded? King Spiff! Become a king! Um, yeah, you sacrificed Odin. Um, some random guy. So you, you were just... Oh, you've killed people. Okay. Well, sacrifice to Odin. I've just... Raised one of my men for... Oh, this is my son-in-law. He killed someone. Good job, son-in-law. You killed the King of York. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Incredible. Good job there. The drunkard, he's severely injured. Sacrifice to Odin. How many men have... 30. It's getting a bit, in a bit intense. It's worth it for the king, you know. Sacrifice to Odin. Oh, apparently I've become... Him ever, blah, blah, blah. I might lose kind. Have I lost kind? Nope, still kind. <laughs> I'm sacrificing absolutely fanatically, but I'm a kind individual and that's all that matters. People love my kind-hearted nature. Oh, and yet another duel happens, naturally because I, uh, I lost an arm wrestle, and the only logical way to follow that up is to challenge a man to fight to the death. And so he's dead, and that adds... 36 to the pile of dead people. Maybe I should go berserk. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go berserk. We haven't done it. It's another death. Oh, and another sacrifice to Odin. Oh, and another sacrifice to Odin. Go. Oh, another person has been captured. Sacrifice and sacrifice. How many people have we sacrificed? 42 people. When I've captured someone, so let's sacrifice him naturally, as is tradition. Um, but yeah, I've become the leader of a society. Oh, we've captured someone. Sacrifice. Capture someone. Sacrifice. Good dog. Hey, another random guy killed. Sacrifice to Odin, naturally. Oh, I can finally duel this person who's my rival. Good stuff. Only 12 combat skill, but apparently you want to duel, so let's do it. I, um, I absolutely win. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> what a rash. So close to just... Just having 50 kills. <laughs> oh, another glorious battle, okay. Successful treatment, but I don't want to die, so... Gotta get up to 50 kills, 50 kills, 50 kills, 50 kills, 50 kills! I've finally received the item. <sighs> Quality 5. Increase of money, but draws death. Okay. Um, seems great. Why not? And I'm afraid this is where the journey must end for the incredible 70-year-old leader of the Wolf Warriors, because he was just given a ring by his son who's been on a quest for about the last 20 years to locate a magical ring. Now the ring is a level 5 item and it saps the life out of you, but gives you incredible amounts of wealth. Uh, for some reason I've decided to wear it, and as a result, my king is going to die. I was actually trying to duel my friend over here, but alas, I die. And uh, that's the end of King Spiff. He killed 50 people on his incredible journey and peaked at a stunning 150 combat skill. He is genuinely a god amongst men. No one could stand against him on the field of battle. He was simply 
too good. I was blown away. Naturally, his kingdom is absolutely shattered, uh, but alas, don't worry. That's for the rest of the dynasty to deal with. If you'd like to see how they do, I've included a time lapse at the end of the video just for you. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you haven't, give it a dislike and make sure to subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Have fun.